Welcome back everybody, my name is Ultimar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Neverwinter Nights Shadows of Undrintud. Where we left off last time, we leveled up to level 10. 9. Level 9, sorry. <laughs> uh, we were fighting slads and we went outside to rest and now we're back. Back again. Which way were we going? Or no. Wait, where are we? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, I got turned around. I th yeah, I thought we were back inside. Um, we're gonna fight a blue slad with his red slad teammate. Let's see if we can pull one, but not the other. Good. Perfect. Ah, the other one's coming. Tumble away. Let's go stand in a doorway where the, uh, blue one can't get to us. We can just fight one-on-one -on -one with the red one. That works out okay. I'm just coming down off a little bit of an adrenaline rush and my Pillars of Eternity game nearly died. It was pretty brutal. Oh man, that game sometimes. Whew. So yeah, it was good times. I'm just coming down off of that. Gonna kill some slads, gonna go deeper into the dungeon if we don't die to this blue slad. Although I'm gonna quick save here once this slad dies. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, zoom in on this fight. This is what our character is seeing. First person view, sort of. Oh. We're gonna die if we can't hit it more. There we go. Oh, it heals itself too. Come on. Near death. Keep dodging. Come on. Oh. Yes. We can actually wander like this too. Uh, let's see. How do I move the camera? There we go. Nope. It's actually really hard to control though. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, doo, doo. This is what it looks like for our adventure going through the tunnels. We're going back outside to rest, by the way. Spooky. It's like first person mode. It's kind of cool how you can do this. It's really impractical for actually playing the game, but it's just kind of fun. You can see what they're seeing. Uh, this way. All these armor statues looking kind of creepy. Ooh, too far. Corpses all over the ground. Door out. This is the cliff that we're overlooking. Look at that. Back in the day, these graphics were like amazingly gorgeous. Looking up at this, I was like, oh my god, look at that 3D rendering. How do you even do graphics like this? It's impossible. There's no way. This must be fake. And then the uh, first time, like, games like World of Warcraft came out. It's just this like its scale was so much bigger than anything I'd experienced before. Without loading screens and stuff like that. It was it was pretty impressive. But I remember when Neverwinter Nights was announced and I saw the introduction video for it. And I saw like a a rogue in the desert like in the forest with two daggers and I was like, oh my god, this game is going to be the greatest game of all times. And don't get me wrong, it was an awesome game, but the custom games were much better than the uh, actual storylines, in my opinion, but... Alright. We're going to come out of the uh, first person mode just to get a glimpse around the room here and pick up stuff. There we go. Okay, back to first person mode. Do -do -do. Oh wait, hang on, there's a tongue on the ground. Oh, we didn't even. And thank you for your tongue. Okay, let's see what we can see. We're going this way. There's a door. Oh, oh, load. There's a trap. There's also. Okay, it's kind of hard to see what's going on. There's at least two red slides over there, though. Let's 
Oh, they're coming. We need to fight them one at a time. And we're going to do that in a doorway. Perfect. Fight him in the doorway where we're safe. Back to first person mode. Kind of what it looks like. Can you hit me? Don't step out. Don't be stupid. The red ones I think are the least powerful ones. They're pretty intimidating though. I would not want to fight one. Look at that thing. It's terrifying looking. Stupid scrunchy scaled face. It's badly injured. Near death. Come on. There we go. Nice. 67 experience. So we're not getting as much experience anymore. It's actually a little bit depressing. Let's heal. We have a whole bunch of healing kit level 1s. We bought them. Where'd they go? Alright, back to breaking down this door. <laughs> Prepare to become one with eternity. With eternity. Yes. So grim sounding. Come on. Door can't be that hard. Just break it down already with your bare fists. Every one of these we've pulled so far has been raining rocks down on our head. I don't know if this one's going to be any different. Yeah. It's not. I'm going to keep pulling them though, just in case. You never know. Let's get flurry of blows on. Takes forever to break through door. Oh, sh <laughs> hiding right behind the door was a slad. Just a red one, though. We shouldn't have too much trouble. We're also immune to disease and I think poison now as well. And after this, I think I'm gonna go laser under bed and watch some Vikings or something. I'm tired. I just want to kind of lay down and. Do a whole lot of nothing. That's my goal for the rest of the night. All right. What do you got in here? Luckily, our dexterity is pretty good. Our reflex save. Oh, hey, healing kit plus three. Nice. I keep hitting. What do I hit? Right click. Yeah. I keep hitting right click by accident. Armor stand. Are you an evil armor stand or just a normal armor stand? Just a normal one, okay. That leg, oh, sh wait, what? Hang on. You're fighting a shield guardian. I'll help you, shield guardian. I hope it doesn't turn on me. Whoa. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Like, I just closed the door though. I'm like, ah, no, let's just not. Let's see if we can kill it. Rolling an 11 doesn't hit it. That's never a good sign. Oh, we hit it. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Run away! Run around the corner. Let's heal. We can probably take it. Alright, here we go. Your end. We're not going to bother with that uh, flurry of blows. At least we can run away and heal and come back and fight it again. Which is totally worth it, by the way. Actually, you know what? The flurry of blows is fine. Let's just do that. 
Would help if we didn't roll a three, though. It's healing over time. I actually don't think we can win this fight. Please tell me I... Oh, I did save after I had started to fight it. Okay, we're gonna run in, grab the thing, and leave. Don't mind me. Ooh. All right. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and leave that there for now. There we go. Good amount of healing done. We got the something to do with yourself while I attend to this. <sighs> Gonna leave that shield guardian exactly where it is. Oh, there's Formians in there. Wait, what are they fighting now? They're fighting the slads. Oh, I see. We can go into their hive. Let's not. Let's not go there just yet. Who do we want to win this? We don't want really either side to win. I think I should have... Uh... Let's reload that. Let's just see if we can get killing blows. I missed the criticals we had. Oh, there we go. I was busy drinking hot chocolate, damn it. Okay. Let's just sort of hang out on the edge of battle. I think the Formians are gonna win. Sniped. Okay, nope. Hey, okay, fight that. Ow. Ow. It's time to run away. That really hurt. We didn't even hit it yet. It'd probably help if we rolled more than a six, though. There we go. Holy crap. It has a lot of armor. We missed on a 16 roll to hit. Like, that's pretty damn high. I don't actually think we can hit this thing. Um. No, ignore me. Hey, Slad. I need you to fight a Formian. And I'll fight it while we're flying. This is actually pretty grim. It has a, just a ton of armor. also healing over time. 
We're about to lose our ally. It hits me on like... I don't even know. It can hit me with a 5. How the f How are you supposed to kill that thing? It's impossible. There's no way that I can beat it in one-on-one -on -one combat. I'm gonna lead more red slides to it. Hey, come with me. Hey, you, come with me too. Wait, where's the other one? You guys, come on. Come on, guys. We got some trouble here. I'm crowdsourcing my win of this fight. Because I can beat Red Slads up all day. I cannot beat this mirror mark by myself. Stay alive until I win this fight. Right. Please stay alive till I win this fight. Come on, bigger hits. Better hits. Oh, crap. Really? <laughs> Just like turns around, kills me. Oh, there we go, we killed it. Holy crap, that thing is really, really powerful. New plan. We're at 17 minutes. We're going to go back to town. <laughs> we have a new amulet to identify, which looks fancy, and we have some... Oh, what's this? Stone to flesh. Turn stone to flesh, but only a creature that was once flesh already. Okay. There's something else we... Oh, a ring, right. Let's go see what these things do. I don't actually know offhand. Right side though, we killed that thing. Good. That was uh, a little bit rough. Worth 330 experience though. That is a considerable portion of our level. In fact, it is. How much? We needed 9,000 for this level. So 300 is 3.33333%. No, wait, that doesn't sound. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because if you times it by 10, then it's 3,000 out of 9,000, which is a third. But it's 10% of that. Oh, damn it. There's a crevice that leads down to the Formian base, which is just pooping on us hard, I have a feeling. Maybe that mirror min min was like their big one. I hope it was. Because I don't think we can face anything bigger than that. Not without the help of several slad. Even that last slad encounter was pretty close. And we had two extra slads on top of like the four it took down by itself previously. It was a little bit brutal. Let's go see what this amulet and this ring do. I'm hoping one is like haste AC plus 10. Not holding up much hope, but you never know. Don't ask, don't get. I'm asking for haste plus 10 AC. That'd be sweet. That amulet would never exist in this campaign, though. I agree. All right. What is it? Magic defenses. I mean, it's okay, I guess. I think ours are better, though. It's a little disappointing. What's this? 
Amulet of Fireballs. Not super happy about that one either. What's a wine of owl? Oh right, that's the thing we stole. We almost lost our uh, ability to be a monk because of it. Do we have anything in here? Oh right, the blackguard helmet. Right. Maybe we should use the... Uh, what's it called? The tower crystal. I already know what it is though. Just from the lore. I remember. I remember what it is. And... I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, right. Desert's Fury. We're never going to use it. Let's get rid of it. Slads, tongues, we don't need. Sell that gem, sell that gem, sell that trap. Although traps might be the way to go. Ring of Magic Defenses. Let me take a quick look at this again. So Spellcraft, worthless. Spell Resistance is pretty good though. And Spell Magic is also pretty good. We'll keep it around just in case for now. I desperately need our AC modifier. I don't know what we would do without it. We're still very, very far in terms of money away from being able to afford our... Why would I ever want a necklace of fireballs? To be able to afford our haste boots. Where'd they go? There they are. 103,000... That's just so crazy. Once per day earthquake level 20 though. That's what's boosting the price up so much. I have a feeling. Alright, I guess we're heading back. What's our time looking like? 22 minutes in. I guess we can do a little bit more. It doesn't take that long to walk back. That gorge doesn't have a ground floor though. It just goes into nothing. It's a little bit disconcerting. I think we've rolled really badly on our hit points again. Personally, I think we are just getting crushed in terms of hit points. I think we should have way, way, way more. Why are you stopped? Get over the thing. There we go. Down, 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 down. Okay, let's go this way. Apparently, gave me my Steam sale is on sale, or my wish list is on sale. I just don't know what game it is. I'm curious. Now I'm just super curious. It made a notification that like blinded me because I'm sitting in a dark room with this relatively dark monitor because we're in this dungeon most of the time. And this brilliant white light comes from my phone to notify me that I have a wishlist game on sale. And I want to tell you guys what it was so important that it blinded me. Except that I can't get to the Steam page, or Steam store. So I'm guessing it's nothing because it's down for some reason on my phone. So I don't even know why it bothered to tell me. Good times. We're going to get another 50,000 gold or so. This is going to be such a nightmare to try and get. Right, there's a shield guardian. We're going to leave it alone. It's doing just fine all but... Hey, there's a secret door. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Alright, let's try this out. Pray. If we fail a single fort save, we are dead.
Gonna quick save, because we're doing okay. We could actually flee at this point and be just fine. All we need to do is not roll a one. I think. Let's get in melee with two of them. Then we can do circle kicks. Or we can miss every attack and then die. Almost time to run away. Time to run away. Secret door time. Can't come through. They can't go through the secret door because they just don't know where it is. Despite the fact that they could clear, clearly see me go through. Can't follow. Alright, back through we go. Where do I see? You missed your circle kick. Come on, finish it. Okay, Basilisk's not so hard to kill, but there's a Sphinx. <laughs> Prepare to become one. Nice. Oh man. We're never gonna hit again. Oh, we won. Sort of. One left. We're gonna use the stone to flesh thing on the Sphinx, I think. Which could be good or a bad idea, I don't know. I don't actually remember this part at all. You know what? Let's do the Sphinx and see what it says. Then we'll go opening chests, just in case it's important. Gur Yavani da Siverin Kintai. I have no idea what you just said. My apologies, human one. The shock of my transition from stone to flesh caused me to revert to my native tongue. May I be so presumptuous as to ask the name of my benefactor? My name is Altamar, who are you? Pleasant to meet you, Altamar. I am... Mirax Moffat. I imagine that such a name is hard on your tongue, so if you wish, you may call me Mir. Okay. Did you have much trouble annihilating those marauding lizards with their petrifying gaze? It was a close battle. Obviously you had less trouble than I did, so I am impressed, and I do not easily impress. I am afraid that my lair is in terrible disrepair, so I have none of the proper amenities to entertain guests. I can offer you answers to any questions you might have, or we can play a rousing game of riddles. Oh, and I do have a reward for you if you're interested. I think that you would appreciate the magical device that makes power stones. Well, I enjoy riddles, I do. Excellent. I shall think on this for a second. I want to come up with a good one, not just that old boring riddle about legs and aging. Oh, I have one. This is fairly easy, but a good start. If I eat, I grow. If I drink, I die. By my life you live, in my life you cry. Fire. It's definitely fire. Excellent. A piece of advice then. Making your power stone. Six belladonna roots combined in the offensive urn will hasten your step. I always like to move quickly in a fight. Let's try a harder riddle. Without me, you would crawl. With me, you stand tall. Too much of me, and you fall. Without me, you would crawl. With me, it's pride. It could be alcohol, though. Pride. A perfect answer. Well thought out indeed. I think you would appreciate the offensive power of the Power Stone when ten organs from extraplanar creatures are used in the right urn. But one more riddle. I saw a battle between griffins and hippogriffs. Each race had a male and female members involved in the battle. Each member of both races attacked every member of the other race once. When a male griffin attacked a male, they would swipe with their claws. When a male and a female fought, or two females fought each other, they would bite. I witnessed 21 pairs swipe while 34 pairs bit each other. How many male creatures and how many female creatures were fighting? Oh, I need to reread that. Okay. Each race had male and female. That's fine. When a male attacked a male, they'd swipe with their claws. But when they female to female or female to male fought, 
they would bite. So if there are nine males, that doesn't make sense. Oh wait, hang on, let me read this. Oh, okay, so they have different amounts of males and females. So there'd be 10 males? No, that doesn't make sense because there'd be five aside. But each of them attacks the other ones. So, okay, sorry. So nine. Six males, ten females. So there's six males. Each of them attacks the other six. So we want twenty-five. That doesn't make sense. So it has to be seven. Okay, so seven is. But they don't swipe themselves. So it'd be six times seven. Is. 42 minus the original 7. No, that's not right either then. Can't be 10 males, because that would be 9 swiping each other. Or would it? Because there'd be five on one side and four on the other side. So it'd be four times five and then the extra one. It is nine males and seven females. Oh, no, I was wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's incorrect. Oh, well, life goes on. I need to find a new home. Do you have any questions before I leave? I'll be going now. Hang on. I'm going to reload. I want to get that answer right, and I don't know what it is. I thought nine was the right answer. Oh, right. I obviously got it wrong. Hmm. Why is 9 not the right answer? Can't be 10. Because that'd be, that'd be too many. And what you just said, all torn, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, close battle, riddles. And it was fire, and then it was pride, and then it was. Hmm. If it's eight, I think that's too many. No, maybe eight's the right amount. Okay, so so we'd hit each one would hit eight. No, each one would hit four. So it'd be four, four. Oh, hang on, I did that wrong. It should be seven, I think. Nope. You know what? I'm just gonna guess until I get it right. I'm tired. Leave me alone. I worked all day. I can't math right now. I should just make an equation. Stop that. Come back to life. Why am I having such trouble with a relatively easy... What are you doing? Okay. No idea. I'll tell more blah blah blah. Close battle. Enjoy riddles. Fire. Pride. Okay, I'm gonna try and think about this one more time in my mind before I lose it. But I'm gonna fix it right here. It's eight. No. Nope. Easy enough. We'll reload. Oh. I've guessed all of the wrong ones. Oh man. This is not going well for me. Uh, oops, shoot. That was just a dumb thing to do. Hit the wrong button. Riddles, fire, pride. It's 10, why is it 10? Five on each side. Oh, I totally didn't think about that correctly. I'm dumb. 12. Yeah. 
I can see how that works. I'm stupid. You're indeed a knowledgeable man. That was great fun. I wish I had more time for you to share some riddles, but I do need to start looking for a new home. Is there anything else I might do for you? Discuss my reward. You might have already discovered the apparatus in the next room or not, but I sense that it still works, so you've not used it yet. I studied the device for quite a while, intending to use it for myself. Unfortunately, I could never actually decide what the most useful combination of powers might be. As a reward, I will tell you how to operate this bit of Netherese magic to create a power stone of great power. That sounds promising, let's do it. The one on the right of, sorry, there's two urns. One on the right is for choosing an offensive power. The one on the left is defensive. The trick is you have to have the right number of each component in both urns before it will work. Once you're ready, just use the device and it will make your stone. The components are listed on the pillars around the room. Each pillar will tell you about the number and type of components you need for a power. I think I deserve more than that for saving your life. I think not. The power stone is a powerful item, casting defensively and offensive spells simultaneously. Task for more is pure greed. I'll be going now. And I shall be leaving as well. It is time to find myself a new lair. Maybe I shall head back south to see if any of my relatives live. Looking for some cute sphinx cousins? You are a very strange creature. Good luck in your travels. I can't believe I failed that thing so many times. I'm just really... Not embarrassed, because, you know, whatever. Who cares, but... Ah, I clicked off screen. Mm -hmm. Back on screen. This game just has trouble tabbing. Oh, it's flickery. Alright, oh, we're way, way over time today. Alright, I'm going to call it pretty much right now, but let's go check the sarcophagi first. <laughs> Prepare to become one. Ha! I missed the sarcophagus. Good. Let's go make a power stone. I don't remember what we need. There's a lot of belladonna around. Maybe I do need slad's tongues. I should go back and try to find some. Alright, let's take a look at this. We'll take a look at this and we'll call it a video. Translate. Nope. We can just keep trying until we get it. There we go. The gift of the fairy can really be fun. When used on the offense, your opponents it will stun. But defensively used, and even when you attack, you will be seen by no one. That's interesting. Ten tongues of a creature from some other plane can be used to destroy your foe in an instant of pain. But six in defense protects from air, earth, water, and flame. The blood of the dragon, your worst kind of foe, when joined to your offense, backwards your opponents will blow. Defensively, your skin will harden against all woe. When four of the sweet belladonna roots grow, those who attack can be made to slow, but join six of the roots in a defensive way, and the pace of your own steps will grow. So six belladonnas in defense is what we're going to do, for sure. Wait, was the left one? Oh god. What? One on the right is offensive, the one on the left is defensive. I'm going to place the Belladonna in there. How many do I need? Hang on, we're going to do this and then we're going to call it a video. Four Belladonnas, okay. Uh, no, that's not right. Six and defensive, okay. Let's quick save. And... When the fiery eye of the glowing ruby becomes the attacker's friend, the item burn your enemies, mighty defender, enemies magic. Okay, that's not the right one for us. When thrice the ruby's power is joined, your attack, your enemies will burn, no power you will lack, or cast your cares into the air, with defense turn your foe's greatest magic back. I don't really like that one. I want something really good for our offense. Stunning. I think it's going to be Slad's tongues in all honesty. Alright, how many Slad's tongues do I have kicking around? I think I got rid of a whole bunch of them. Which means we have to go back and loot them. I guess they're kind of important in some weird way. Slightly annoying. 
Luckily, there's a whole bunch of them lying around. Hey, the Formian can- oh no, we can still go there. I just thought the Formian hole was gone. It looks like it's sealed up, kind of. That's not a slad's tongue. No, no, that won't do at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Eight. I know where there's two more. At least. We passed him. So we have eight. Don't hurt me. I'm just here for the tongues. This is gonna hurt. Actually, this might actually kill us. Oh, uh, that was close. Okay, let's go make our item. Oh shit. I'm acid splashed. Uh, heal me. I don't want to die right as I reach the machine. That would just be sh shitty. Okay. Let's go put the tongues in and see what we make. I'm really curious, actually. Slad's tongues. Uh, three. Ten. Need the Save. Boom. We have a power stone. If I were a power stone, what would I look like? Oh, you would look like that. Oh, the power of the stone is limited by number of charges. One charge. I guess we should save it till it's really, really good. Oh, well, that's going to be the end of the video. We're 42 minutes in. We're way, way, way over time. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.